Hey guys, welcome back to my second channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I'm going to turn this little cabinet right here that I have. This is actually um, a bookshelf originally that I'm now going to turn into a little pantry of mine. Here are the stuff that I have here. These are mostly like my baking goods and all. So I'm planning to kind of like organize them and put them in here. I also have some of them right over here. The thing that I still need, I think, is one of those like dividers or like those little containers, which I don't have at the moment. But I just need to transfer all of those things first and see what they would look like in here. And on top right here, I think I will need to put kind of like those mantel or those... looks like this right here I'm just gonna measure it first cut it and then this is easy to put on because you just stick it like this I also made sure that this cabinet is really clean and cleansed purified disinfected and all that jazz since I'm putting food here okay so here is my strategy I'm planning to put all of the kind of like cans and heavy stuff underneath here so it doesn't burden this, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All of the okay, I have like something here that has a gap, so I think I could put cream there. There you go, you guys. They're organized <laughs> for me. And they all fit in here, which is really great because... So I still have this much storage on top. All right, so for the next shelf, I think I could work on the flower and all that. I think I can put the flower there. I have different types of flower. I think I can put them in here and categorize them by the types of flower that they are. Wait. I want to see if that will fit. Yep. All right. So in the next category, I think I'm gonna put all of the glutinous uh, rice, tapioca flour, and the rice flour. So, oh no, that one is. Oh great, it's open. So this, in this category, it's gonna be the starch. Right there. And I think that I can also put some of my all-purpose flour here. All right, here's starch, flour, and cocoa powder. Okay, so the next category would be the sugar. And probably just baking powder as well. So I could remove this rack right here and actually make them stand. Because that could work too. I'm also going to utilize that place to store in some of my tapioca pearls. I'm also going to put this whipping cream right here. And in here I put all of my baking powder. And then I think I could also put baking soda here at the side. Okay, so here on top we have the yeast. There's more yeast there at the back. There's lard there at the back. Sprinkles and um, food coloring flavoring that goes the same here as well so I think I am done with the whole um, baking section right there okay all right so now I'm moving in here okay so I think since the pastas are the ones that are heavy I'm gonna put them down there I'm gonna get these I didn't realize that I actually have a lot of macaroni. <laughs> I think I really need those like containers for the spaghetti sticks that are open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of the sauce here at the side. So I have some three cheese pasta sauce. So from on top, I put all of the tall stuff in there. 
and then in here is more of like the snack section um, bread and spread and in here I think I need to fill that um, up with noodles and in here as I've said the seasoning breadcrumbs the oatmeal and in the section right here is the pasta and this the section right here is purely just for like random stuff or like stuff that I bought in double okay so now that I organized them now I know exactly what I'm lacking and what is still missing in there that I need to fill it up so I'm gonna go to the groceries later and buy some of the stuff that I actually need okay through groceries <laughs> I think I should just buy this. I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange them and then put them all. Okay guys, so I bought some storage this time. Check it out, it's a perfect fit. Okay, so I have my noodles, um, some snacks, more unhealthy snacks, but yeah, that's it. In there. Oh my god. Alright, so I have my coffee and um, chocolate drinks, so I'm gonna put them in here. Okay, so now that's what it looks like on top. I just put all of the unhealthy snacks in there, the instant noodles because needed and we Asian, so we need that. And um, uh, the aloe vera drink, which is I really like. And then in here, I just put all the coffee and the hot chocolate in there, the cool mugs and milk. And then in here on the inside, this is the final reveal that's what it looks like right there in here that's where i store as i've said some of the stuffs that are doubled on this other side right here is of course all of my baking goods there you go organized My little pantry so that is it you guys i hope you all like this video and actually i'm planning to do a lot of like diy minimalist transformation on my room that's exactly why i'm trying to get rid of the cabinets here in my room because i'm planning to embrace the whole minimalism lifestyle next year but but also at the same time i want to make use of um, some of my old cabinets and my cabinets here in my room that I will no longer use. I was planning to utilize them, so that's exactly what I did, so nothing really goes to waste. So yep, that is it. I'm actually planning to post more contents here on my channel, especially next year. I'm actually gonna be making more kind of like DIYs that is not like beauty or hair related. And of course, there will be a lot of vlogs that are coming up on this channel very soon. So that is it, you guys, and I will see you all on my next vlog. Bye.